for them to get their biggest time. Yeah. I'm supposed to study that. Well, the meeting starts in five minutes. What's that? The meeting starts in five minutes. Is that time to do it? Is that done? Seven o'clock, I will call the continuation to order on August 20th. You know, first item is to review proposed health care budget for 2020. Um, there is a copy of Mr. Wickham and I worked on. Very quickly, we'll go through it. We consider the cash reserve at the end of this year after the paying the trust fund. Um, that's 642000 Our general levy, we left everything on receipts exactly the same as last year. So our total receipts on page 2, this would be 206418 On page, starting on page 3 of 6,
left. The players are fun will not be there this, this next year, so we have six thousand and three fifty, thirteen hundred and consider donations to civic organizations that could be up to you people, but consider per, perhaps it's more appropriate for people to make their own contribution to to the organizations they wish to rather than passing you and giving it um, us deciding where it's going to go. So we changed that to zero. Um, wages and salary bumped up a little bit. Um, we appear on everything accordingly. Executive uh, say the same. If we're going to do that road project, we consider we have to do an engineering fee for, we estimate $45,000. That's for which road project? 33rd and 82nd. The project would not be $450,000. Right, but the engineering for a fee of what, what we propose to do this year is $45,000. To do 33rd yeah. and then 82nd yeah. south of yeah. 33rd. Yeah. You would never spend $45,000 engineering fees, never. Well, we went to the moon with the high side, but that's that's what 10%. we were going on on the projections that the, the city engineering firm made, which Bill said is about 40% high. So. But we're that's for the whole project. Their engineering fees were for the whole project. We're not doing the no, whole project. No, the engineering fees for the no. for those three key parcels, A, B, and D, in that meeting were about forty five thousand. No, that was for the entire project. That we're not six hundred or eight hundred thousand dollars project. Okay. You're only the thirty third and eighty second are only going to be a couple hundred, two hundred fifty thousand dollars for the whole project if we take half of According to the city, so you don't have numbers at a same place. So there's no way you can pay forty-five thousand dollars in a kid. There's no way you can pay forty-five thousand dollars in a possible way. If you do that for that's that's a third of our full project, of our part of the project. According to what the W or whatever letter, those three parcels, A, B, and Z, were $498,000. Well, unless I have that paper at home. Yeah. Yeah. But um, A, B, and D, have that one. A, B, and D. A. And that's the city proposal, which he proposed was Forty-five percent right. higher than what should be right. <coughs> you got to take forty-five percent right off according to your figures, and then do your ten percent for engineering. Engineering inspection is typically eight to twelve percent, which is twenty percent. That probably does it. For A, B, and D, uh, uh, A was all our costs at one hundred forty-three thousand. B. Which one was A? Was A is 33, 33rd west of 82nd. We're using their numbers. So it's a... Uh, Which you said were 45% too high. But those are the numbers we're going to use. And that's what's been documented. You can't, you can't put $45,000 down for budget for engineering that are going to cost a third of that. We, we don't have to spend $45,000. Right. But you got to take it for these people. But we're making a high side estimate. Yeah. Well, that's pretty high. high. Yeah, it is. And we never work in the business world. Hopefully, it comes down along below that. We can save some money. I think a year ago was projected, if I'm not mistaken, by Mr. Anderson, that was going to cost six hundred thousand to do that project. That was, that was the whole that. project, right? Not, not just the roads we're talking about. The whole entire project. Yeah. So we're talking about two different things. So uh, section A is all of ours. One forty-three. The total came to like 290000 for our portion, and 20% of that is 45000 I've never heard the 20% figure. That's I'm sure you haven't. No. I have. I work up there every day. Yeah, but you live in a different world than we do in the real world. Uh, 
contract. You work in a government job. We have and, to and this is a government, government project. It is, but why do we want to spend more taxpayer money than we have to? Do you understand the budget is not something we have to spend? I understand. We're but you're still taking it. it from these folks here. If we don't spend it, we're not taking it from them. If you put it on here, you vote where you are. Okay, so let me let me ask this then. So in 2016, we had engineering fees of twelve thousand mm dollars. -hmm. We spent two thousand three hundred. So where did the, the 9000 go? Probably got put into a road somewhere. No, no, it didn't. Really? Yeah, yeah, you tell me where it went. 17000 In 2017, we budgeted 12000 yeah. We spent 682 mm -hmm. Tell me where it went then. Well, are you saying that we're not going to move it? We, if we have to move this around, we're not going to move it around? You've been moving it around for years. Yes, we have, but we've never raised the budget. We've been really conservative. Yeah. Are we raising the budget? I don't know. I get that for you. Okay. Then let's well, wait till we get the answer. Do we take the answer? The first statement I made was we are not changing the property weather. But I don't want to see so we are changing the money. You're right. <laughs> yeah, right. But, but it's money that we have had for every man, woman, and child in the township. We had about four hundred dollars of their their money in our cash reserve. When we had eight, over eight hundred thousand dollars in there, that, that was that, that was an excess money. That was a budget year budget and some over and laying up money for this road project. That was right. So it, it isn't just sitting here for the fun. It's got a use. Right. Yeah. But we're budgeting high with the idea that if we don't have to go over budget. We can hopefully we can be well under budget. Mm -hmm. right. nope. And if we can bid this this fall for next spring. Mm -hmm. That's right. Yeah. We'll probably save a lot more money for this. Exactly right. Because they, they always want to have something that's in line for next spring when they start have to freeze them. How much money is set aside for this one project? We might keep feeling that we're set we have money set aside for it. Well, you said we got a surplus. You guys well, know the answer better than I do. No, at the meeting, you oh, said we have 500000 no, set aside. No, I certainly did not oh, say that. we've got it on tape, I Greg. said we've laid up some money for the road project. Nobody was talking about a $500,000 road project. We were talking about a $200,000 road project yeah. that, that night. No, 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 no. You came back with 600000 no. and we no. have... We no. have a recording we can reference. You, could. you go ahead and reference it. You we didn't say anything about we had $600,000 set up. Absolutely not. Mm -hmm. No, we didn't say six hundred. You we were talking about the small project, not the nine hundred or the six hundred thousand dollar project. That was totally wiped out right at the end. One thing that I wanted to cover too is that it sounds as though in the past when these budgets were put together, well, who who put the budgets together in the past? The board did. Well, who who everybody you had a working meeting? We would sit here at a meeting, and just like we're doing now, we go through each individual group, just like you and. Gene did yesterday, apparently. Except we did it with the whole board. <laughs> well, whatever. We did it here with the line item. This right that's, that's what we're doing now. Yeah. But we did it with the board. You guys did it at home. So now we have to hear what you come up with. Yes. Well, we're at, anyway, we're at $45,000. Hopefully we can be half that. When we on yet? Because we are, as I pointed out, the cover letter, because our clerk's don't have responsibilities. As we are doing now with contracting, the road responsibilities will be greatly reduced. So we're anticipating somewhat less time for wages and salary. Adjusted all our PIRA, TRIGA, and so on accordingly. The elections, we stayed the same as one election. Um, maintenance personnel, we stayed the same. Assessing, we stayed the same. Auditing and, and the accounting services, we stayed the same. Well, we went up $100, we probably will. Legal fees, we... Just anticipate that we can have a whole lot less next year, hopefully. Planning and zoning, uh, the cleanup is we budget three thousand. Basically we just went up 
$1,150 above last year for the planning zoning. Public safety is $53,500, so we will be paying the fire department for fire services here. Building inspections and administration is strictly based on how many building permits we can require and how much, how much time they, they have in these places lost or somewhat a wash because they that's paid by the whoever buys permit. General fund the receipts we we left exactly the same. Okay. Getting so now we're getting through the last two pages and before we if we're contracting our our road equipment so on we know we have to have a lot more money. But we we go down to the bottom, ice and snow removal, and and uh, repairs and, and so on basically go away because that's the responsibility of our contractor. We're anticipating spending sixty thousand dollars next year on gravel, and this year we have spent eighty five thousand, I believe, is about where we're at now. Pardon? This this year in, in nineteen, I was a little over eight thousand, nine thousand. <coughs> well, we were at five thousand yards. Oh, that was that was in the twenty eighteen was five thousand yards. Yeah. For roughly eighty five thousand. We're anticipating sixty thousand for gravel and then we get down to the top one the road repair and that would be the big project, about uh, thirty third and eighty nine. With the idea that the city is going to partner with us and also probably the only way they're going to be able to do it is if they can't assess if we don't assess, so we probably are going to have to assess and what what we are proposing so we get this three hundred and eighty thousand dollars to a little bit more powerful figure is that we would do all the substructure work. And those residents would pay black topping fee only, and we would have a very definite number. And we would assess them. I think the, we're considering the number would be probably about 120,000. <clears> and that's, I believe, what when you people voted or petitioned to have your the taxing district, that was about the number that these people were working on, I believe, was about 120,000. So basically, we're going back to that number. But this time, we have a, a very definite number. The engineer will, if we put the engineer to work, he's going to have very specific numbers. He can be more specific about the, the black topping than he can about the uh, substructure because. That's the swale on the end of 82nd is going to take some work. We get to the last page, and I know it's, it's messy because we're doing this very quickly. Our total budget, we added the four of the $223,000 and the $189,000. The $206,000 and $189,000. Our levy will be $395,943, same as we did last year. We started with $807,000 in reserve. We made, made excess of $165,000 for the truck fund. <coughs> Our budget, as laid out before we get some help from the residents and from the, from the city, is, uh, we have a $309,000 shortfall, which would leave us $333,000 um, cash reserve at the end of 2020. All productive discussions. <coughs> we have to hold it down because we have to start our regular meeting at 7 30. What is it going to cost us to contract for snow removal? Is there a set fee? Or are you going to know what the way is? Hourly rate? So what's, we got the way we're, we're sitting right here. The way we're sitting right now, we, we are planning on a, how we're going forward in the future. 
and next month we're going to either contract or hire an operator. That'll be next month. We got it on for discussion this month. It's for discussion, but last month we well we passed a motion that we, right. So let's get some figures. Let's we paid forty eight hundred dollars this month for road grading, right? Well, it's and. Uh, and it's and going, 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 it's going included, then you run up to seven thousand. Okay, so four thousand dollars of a road grade for one month. <coughs> That's a lot of money. Man. You guys we had been doing this for twenty bucks an hour. And that was worth up to like eight hundred and fifty dollars. And what is the difference? That's not entirely true because you still got fuel costs, you still got I, I figured out well, that was about three to five hundred dollars depending on how heavy you was pulling for and carrying equipment, the insurance for the guy. Uh, no, the insurance is all it's Minimum. You should figure it out because business-wise, it doesn't pay the contract. Actually, it does. No, it doesn't. Mm -hmm. I've got the figures here. Yeah, I bet you do. Yeah, Some stuff I dreamed up from the state. Um, in the real world, it pays to own your own equipment and hire. Absolutely does not. Yeah, it does. I can argue that point. I've been in business for 40 years. And if you I had to hire somebody out to run things that we do ourselves, you could put it Look at any study, Greg. <laughs> I'm talking rent real versus, world. I'm not rent talking versus studies. Own, if we're not using the equipment at least 60% of the time, it's cheaper to rent. Absolutely not. If you're not using it 60% of the time, you get less wear and tear. Less fuel costs. It's just that equipment is not costing us one dime sitting in that shed. It used, it's so used this, is, this, were the, this is the numbers. 2016, we had uh, wages and overhead approximately $6,000. Um, we also had uh, the greater expenses in 2016 was 29,000. In 2017, it was almost 6,000. In 2018, it was close to 10,000. So that averages out over three years uh, to almost $22,000. What about year. the 25 years before that that we didn't do anything? <laughs> Can you figure that out? So we've had that graded for what, 30 years? Dwayne's not here, so 30 years. We've had no major expenses on it until about three years ago. So you got to figure that out. No, well, I don't have that information because yeah. CTAS only goes back three years. Right. But in the real world, you have to figure that out. The machine has been here for at least 30 years, and we've done nothing major to it in, until three years ago. So you have to figure that expense back. Let's go 25 years. On top of that, and we also costs. have, we all, on top of that, we also have, as we mentioned in the past, the quality of the grading was not up to standard. Um, the road, the road, uh, the crown on the road should be about four percent. We were finding anywhere. There's a lot of roads that were four percent, but many of the roads were at six, seven, eight, ten percent, which is almost impossible to plow in the winter. We lose a lot of gravel when the when we get the crown too high. And it's, it makes it very difficult for the plows to traverse those types of crowns. So that's some of the costs here that uh, we're seeing in these expenses is correcting the, uh, the road crown. Uh, we're also getting a, a packer on the back, a pneumatic packer, which is what we talked about in June. Mm -hmm. So that's a little bit more expense. Yeah. And we could have done it ourselves. Yep. And how much did how much of that cost? Mm -hmm. the pack well, when we checked the years, it was like six or seven thousand dollars. Okay. So we don't have that expense no. for those tires. And when, with, when we're grading with the current conditions, with the, with the grader that we have now, we have wider, a wider blade, more compaction, which is going to require us less time grading the roads. So instead of, I'm just going to throw out a number, instead of having to hit the road maybe four times a month, it may be three times. And it might not be every road. We might have to hit every other road. Mm -hmm. So that's all that's savings. Yeah. Well, we figured all that out too. You didn't invent. I haven't seen any numbers. We don't have any numbers. We when we the road yeah. road needed to be graded, we went out and graded it. And I thought we did a wonderful job. I saw the road 110th was so bad the other day. After I don't know who was operating a machine, but I couldn't hardly drive on it. I was. Yeah, and, and I don't know what happened, but 110th was just like this, just like he ran a disc crosswise. And I called Bill and complained he wouldn't go look at it. Actually, I had to go look at it. You didn't go with the 110th, is what you told me. I looked down 110th. Yes, I did. Great. No, you told me the other day. I'll bring not. my 15-year-old daughter in here, and you're going to call her a liar? Is that what you're going to um, do? Because she was with you. You can go out there right now and look at it. It's still the same way. It hasn't changed. And there's right. only two of us. So the anyway, this, this is, is more the numbers. meeting to the regular meeting, our budget meeting right now. This is budget. This is the meeting. 
is discussion of the budget. This is budget. Yeah. If somebody wants to make adjustments to the budget, <laughs> speak now or we will. We I'd will. like to motion we approve the budget as you brought forward, Gene. The motion has been made to approve the budget as brought forward. Is there a second? I'll second it. This has been seconded by. We're going to go to discussion, right? Yes. Okay, the discussion is now open for uh, accepting the budget as printed. Yes. You had made a statement about the clerk's wages, why they were going down. Can you tell me again why that? Well, was? because her responsibilities would be less because they're, she will no longer be dealing with the road maintenance issues that's going to be directly. Well, I, in looking at the amount of material that comes out for the meetings now, I'm thinking that um, our clerk spends a lot more time doing paperwork for all the meetings than she did maybe even like two, three years ago. Does anybody agree with that? I can attest to it. Yeah. So I, I'm not, I'm not sure that that's a place that at this time when our township is trying to grow. And we have all these different projects coming up, that this is a place that we want our, our daily, daily person to be cut. So I would like to see our way to stay the same. She has paid an hourly wage, which we are anticipating there will be less extra time needed for, for running back on, on a snowy day or whatever. So you're talking about cutting your hours or cutting your wage? Cutting the... We're, we're anticipating that there will be less less time needed. So you're cutting your hours. What what are the current hours? What are the current hours? You don't know. I'm asking it's you. Monday, 8.30 to 2.30. How many hours? Tuesday, 8.30 to 3.30. And Thursday, 8.30 to 3.30. All right. And I get emails on Fridays. So I'm guessing that there's some extra hours that are being worked. Well, if you don't want your emails on Friday, maybe she could quit doing that. Well, no, I'm just saying, I think there's hours that are being worked on off days. Yeah, she comes in here, absolutely. Mm -hmm. We get things organized. Okay. This would go to office person. Yeah. Well, that's, that's, that's what we're that's asking. asking. That's all I'm asking is how many days we're cutting hours. That's I assume we're paying her for those hours. Some, some not. Right. So and I, think that's what, I think that's to their point, is that hopefully Fridays won't be required after that point. Okay. So you're cutting your hours. Okay. But we also are adding so many more projects, it seems like, to me, that, I mean, these minutes are even bigger than they used to be, and all of the stuff that needs to be copied. We got we're talking half, growth. Three and a half hour meetings now, rather than yeah, half hour. Yes, but we're talking growth, and it just doesn't seem like the personnel area is where we need to think about cutting. Well, last year, instead of having working hours, we added two more time off hours with additional pay. So we added 40 additional time off paid hours to 100 annually paid time off hours, in addition to 10 paid holidays, in addition to having medical paid for, for a part-time job. So that was OK to add all those hours in, to not have any productivity. But now that you want to reduce the cost when we don't need it, no then there's a problem, Greg. No productivity. No productivity when she's getting paid for 40 extra hours of time off. She's okay. not here. Yeah. Wait, let's you you obviously have never dealt in the real world and have to keep good employees. Oh, exactly. really? You obviously have never had to do that. I'm looking for a good employee. Yeah, but you are. Have you ever owned and operated a business where you have to get good employees to come and work and stay? Mr. Anderson on stand topic. Yeah, but anyway. Anyway. Any other comments about budget? My question about the, the road, do you guys actually have an actual dollar amount? Because you were bouncing around pretty fast there and what you're spending on that road and then the $45,000 for the <coughs> engineer. engineering that you said was 20%. Typically, pre-engineering and post-engineering is 8 to 12%. Okay, that's quite a bit higher than what I've heard in the past, but I guess I'm just asking a question on it. Well, it has, they haven't done any engineering. We don't even know the survey boundaries on that. We don't know if the road's in the alignment. We don't know the R values right now. What the road, we don't really understand what the road is. And we brought that up at the meeting with the city. But I, I was thinking that the numbers were about 43% high. But 
because of the lack of information that they have, they're, they got a lot of cushion in there and they're padding it. Okay. So those are the numbers that we use. We use the numbers that they had because, um, and I didn't look at any quantities. All I was doing is looking at average bid prices on the <coughs> items. Any other comments? Questions? Discussion? Yeah, Greg, wasn't back in the day, Eldon's development, wasn't that his responsibility to pay the road back then? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think it still is. Well, well yeah, that's what the agreement was. Right. And he did. Those are township rules. So why is it now our responsibility or the city of Princeton's responsibility? Those are township roads. Sounds like it was there. Probably going to be, I would guess, used you know, for the school. The school needs a second to speed and that kind of push for this to get a better route, route coming out of the back of the school over to Conner Road 4. The, the city seems somewhat amicable to partnering with us if we go forward with the 33rd and 82nd, which they have 50% down 82nd from down, or down the city line to 33rd and they have approximately one, two thirds of the, no, take yeah. that back, it's from 33rd west, east of 82nd, it's 50-50. Yeah. South of 82nd, south of 33rd is about two thirds city or school and one third township. So why does Elvin get off not having to He's, carry through his responsibility? He only had to Blacktop, Balsam, and, and Bluff. And 36. Pardon? And 36. Yeah. But he did not have to Blacktop. He he said at that time he would build two township standards minus Blacktop. But, but because they were an entry into a development, they were not Blacktop. <coughs> And we're running short on time. Any other discussions? I just have one comment. I just want to say that I think the road grading is really nice right now. After rain, the roads look pretty good. So they don't need to be graded right away. Um, so who's ever doing it? Um, doing an outstanding job. And I can see that money is well spent and probably won't have to close off it so there'll be some money spent. Comments, concerns, questions? <laughs> All in favor of the motion to approve the budget as proposed by the city of Minnesota, that is now before you. Say aye. 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 Opposed, no. 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 Uh, maybe show of hands. All in favor, signify by raising your right hand. Opposed, no. Motion's carried. 
Any other business? We actually uh, will have to adjourn because we have to move to our regular meeting. Let's take motion to adjourn. Make motion to adjourn. And second. Second. Motion made and second is to adjourn. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed no. Motion carried. We are adjourned. We will now move on to the forum at the 7:30. I will call the meeting to order. Please remove your hats.
Is that all the people are all in favor of the same night? Aye. Aye. Opposed, no. No. Period. Review residential recycling drop site at Town Hall. Why didn't, um, what's the discussion? I thought that was kind of a no-brainer. Well, a wonderful I, asset to the community. I, I, I agree. Wonderful. She was asking for extra time and, and somebody wanted to look at it. We were had, we've never had a complaint that I know of every time. No. Just give her what they want. I can't imagine any better for our local community than having a recycling bin. Yeah. Does anybody remember exactly what was asked last month? What was extra days? days that they were looking for? Have an extra recycle drop off days? I believe Ms. Logan, do you remember what it was? They didn't ask for anything specifically. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. They just waited an extra day? It's three days now, right? Yeah. Yeah. If they wish for a fourth day, I would move that. We would grant them a fourth day. I would second that. Right. I would say the only question I heard out of that uh, from the community was, you know, our, <coughs> if they're going to leave that dumpster here, we're going to require that to be masked mm -hmm. like we do uh, local businesses. Or are we going to set a stand, you know, have a double stand? Mm -hmm. You take that before better, didn't you? I believe it was going to get left through the weekend. No, I think you were leaving the weekend. They wanted a fourth weekday, I think. Sometimes it gets left. Does it? Friday or Saturday. Has that ever been an issue for parking or moving or maneuvering? Or? Well, I, I agree with Mr. Anderson that I think it's a tremendous asset. It's really nice to be able to just come over here and and recycle. Yeah, the question though was that we might require fencing or shielding of any kind that we require other people to do. No, I would be in favor of that. If, what would you do? If you got a blacktop parking lot, you'd have to drill holes. Um, and, and it might all come to an end in a year or two, so I don't think you want to destroy the parking lot. But it seems to be a problem. There's never any garbage laying on it. Whatever has been, somebody picks it up recently. Double standards. Not boiling over. It's not a commercial business, we just got no tunnels. Neither are the homeowners that have to have window tint have, dumpsters hidden. I've never seen a homeowner that's got to have a garbage can screened ever. There's a big discussion with the window tent guy. Well, that's a business. We are certainly right. we are bored. Any further discussion? You, you made a motion, I think, or any motion, whatever, to grant them an extra day if they wish. Is there any further discussion? If not, we'll proceed to vote. All in favor of uh, approving the recycling dump site? Uh, signify by saying aye. 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 And opposed, no. Motion mm -hmm. carried. Discuss establishing a policy for compensation and reimbursement of town officers. We already have a policy in place that we can do it every year. Comes up for discussion in the December meeting, I believe, the January meeting. <coughs> this is our two schedule discussion. That's already that's already been up. We haven't changed it. That changes at the next meeting when we do that. Other than that, you know, there's nine minutes. Not going to be here. Well, I'll just hand it out. We don't have to discuss it, but that's what that's what uh, Baldwin and Wynette do. So now we have five months to look at. Mm -hmm. You guys looking for a raise? Is that what you do? So what's the well there's I think for me there was some confusion because you know I'm glad that Mr. Wickham brought this up or whoever's bringing this up forward because um, I had received a, a fax from you Mr. Anderson this year talking about uh, you know how we're supposed to volunteer all of our time and mm -hmm. you know and yet there's been claims made throughout the years it wasn't something that I had solicited. It was all of a sudden I got an email from, from your firm. So it was just, what is the policy? Uh, we haven't been in it since last November when you may have talked about it. So it was just trying to clear up what's right and what's wrong, or you know, what's the what we policy in place. Well, uh, I have asked for copies of policies, but I have not received any copies of any policies. So if we have written policies, I, you know, I would make a motion that the policy was shared with the supervisors. Especially the new ones that are in place. Well, I can't believe that it would be hidden from anybody. Well, I asked that <laughs> last month, last month's meeting, it wasn't. Gene, I believe, said no. Right. And then, and then Connie sent this off to me. Okay. So Gene should have been able to fill you in on the process that we do every year for the last time. I'm going to get away with Robinson. 
Is that written somewhere? Sure. Well, we discuss it every yeah. every year and then renew it or up it or whatever we're going to do with it. It becomes a discussion of meeting. Oh. <coughs> that would be nice. You know, maybe we should add that to the website too. Copy of any of the active policies. I think a motion to add any active policies that we have to the website so that you know the citizens are. Uh, it's transparent to the citizens. I think that'd be great because it's way cheaper than Baldwin. I'd second this that. This is Baldwin, you said? Well, Baldwin. It says right there, Baldwin salary. Oh, There's one other one, why not? Where's why not? On the right. Why not? Does everything by the hour. Everybody, everybody's paid the exact same thing. Yeah, and I've never submitted a bill. That was the reason for my notice. I don't believe that we are here to try to so make what, money. What prompted you to send that to me? We guys had a discussion about that at one time. We uh, Bill and I think did here over in the other meeting. It wasn't a meeting meeting. We were just here for I think, no, I think no, the discussion was I, I requested from the clerk what the standard is, mm -hmm. and the very next day I got an email from you. So did I. I got the same email. Yeah. So I'm, I'm not sure that we had a discussion up to that point. I was, I was Simply questioning the clerk what was going on. Sure. Yeah, I think this does that it doesn't matter what I think, but I think this should be a group of citizens that are here to help the township. Mm -hmm. but, you know, and we are. Yeah, not be here to be billing for everything we do. Okay. <coughs> Okay, we'll move on to the next item. Uh, discuss an agreement for division of maintenance responsibility for the town of Road for several of them, I believe, right? Yeah, we do have a few of agreements. Uh, the one I'm currently working on is with the city. It was something that was going to be brought up at the last at the meeting that we had on Wednesday or Thursday evening, but it didn't get on the agenda. Um, but I, I don't know. Could we get copies of this? Connie, could we get some copies for the rest of the board to look at? I've got one, two, three, four. Yeah. Nope. There were three of them. So we have, sounds like as though we have an agreement with Greenbush. I don't have that. It's in my last my last month's packet, but for 107, 110. I'm sorry. <coughs> and we've got an agreement with Bogus Brook on 70th up west of 169. That's every other year. And we're working. I've got some information from Ynet. <coughs> Evidently. Forty years ago, the agreement was is that uh, some like Princeton Township wanted to pave the town township line road on on 50th. So we were going to maintain that, and wind up going to maintain um, the north two miles because the furthest north section is paved, County Road 13. So what I or what I brought to, uh, to the city was some areas that meets our boundaries. There was a question from Todd McLeod. He wasn't sure um, about the section out to the west on 17th, because all of our maps still show that that's city property. Yeah, they've all been changed. Well, not that. All everything on our walls shows the wrong maps. That was, that was changed years ago. So this is now. These are ours. So that's not in question. Um, but on their website, of course, they've got their zoning map. So we've got five, six areas that we need to work on with them. Um, just north of a Shipwreck, there's a little section here. There's a section up by Wayne Pikes along right out in front of uh, Baptist Church. That is half theirs. And then we've got um, the handles coming around. Then we've got what was discussed <coughs> earlier. Second, thirty-third, where the school property is, and then um, we have the portion along thirty-third east of the, the church. So.
So everything to the north is ours. The south portion, we've got uh, 330 feet. That's the city, or that's ours. 1,010, that's the city's. 595, that's the ours again. Another 335 city and 415 us. So I'll be working with them on that um, just to kind of get some sort of a agreement on Cost and anything, any updates or grades we have to the, the roads that they're carrying, paying their portion. And then we've also been, uh, we had a lot of miscellaneous roads that weren't showing up on, on our map correctly, which were in our township roads. And, um, Connie, you had emailed me. Was there another road or some other th roads that were missing? That's uh, off of 30, there was a road north anymore. Oh, there's a Gail Kostanchek road. She lives on the end of it. Matheson. Or Matheson with Kostanchek, yeah. Nobody knows how that became a road, but it did. Okay. I'm not sure. I think I, I know. I'm not sure which one that is. Do you know? I think I might. Does it go through where Kevin Lee is and then um, Jean Griff property? I believe so, yeah. I think that um, the house was owned by a property owner and then they sold it off. Mm -hmm. And then because you had to go through other land to get to their house, I think it became a township right then. That and that would have been probably in the that's, that's 80s. That's back when Roger Nesky was chair. Yeah, probably the 80s. Long for it. So the township accepted it as made it a wrong way. Thirty minutes. Does it connect? Is it just something that it's like a? It runs to the north of the bottle. We'll talk about it later. I'll get that on there. So I'm hoping to have this all pulled together for getting some distance or actually finding out how many miles of road we have. I think we've got that all listed already. We have to turn one into the county over here. I don't know if the map is really accurate. Well, yeah, we've got a road grading map set at 100%. Well, this is what I'm telling you. Yeah, the one I have is not correct. What's wrong with it? I just told you all these things that are orange were not correct. 54th was shown as a, our township road, and it's not. Uh, the one, the stuff that goes up to Ryman's wasn't shown. 90th wasn't shown. The one west of 169 wasn't shown. Well, Todd has agreed to that roadmap every year. He looks at it when we certify with the county. Todd, our engineer. Well, well, I'm telling you that they weren't on here. I can one that was provided for the road report. Yeah, this is what I was given back in February or March. And everything on 17th Street and County Road 1 was brought back into the township. Yeah, and that's, that's still not showing on here. So that's still it's not in the books either. Yeah. The flat books still show. So that would get that shown correctly. <coughs> Uh, that's all I had for that. We were looking at, at this colored map. The orange. Yep. Yeah, those, all, those are all the boundaries with the city that we're, I need to work on with them. Okay. Well, if you're continuing to get solid answers to these so we know exactly where we're at and where we are going, we appreciate it. Okay. Yeah. Any further discussion? Um, and we, we have found agreements with Planet and I'm going with Planet. I haven't I don't know. Did you kind of did you find one with Planet? No. Yeah. And Kenny, uh, uh, one of the guys from Planet I had asked him about it, so Probably a handshake deal 50 or 60 years ago. That's kind of what he said. Yeah. And that's good. When you deal with good, honest people, that's good. Is that 
It's interesting. We have three wells and 18, and they have two. Yeah. At that time, maybe that wasn't a county road, the 13 going north. It may have been part of the township. Road. They got two miles of swamp, and you got three miles of high ground. <laughs> okay. All right, any further discussion on the agreement? We will continue to uh, straighten out and make an exact definition of where all the roads are supposed to be and who owns them. Discussion on road grader position. And we, at last meeting, we said that we would discuss the road grader position at this meeting. I think the way it needs to be brought back is the most economical way to do it. Saving the taxpayers money and efficiency. My, my opinion. Well, just I'm doing the math. math. We're paying, and I'm just going off of his stuff here. Um, we're just billed 40.75 hours. So 40.7 hours. Labor alone would have came up to 896. Mm -hmm. So call it 900 bucks. Um, Next thing we're running into, what, how old, what's the age of the grader? I'm just, is it 80s? Probably 83. It's already done. Well, it's obviously 83, 83 I think. It's still 35 years old. I mean, the equipment's got to get upgraded, so if we're looking at a grader, I, 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 I don't know, I'm just on a machine grader here. What's a grader? A buck 50 for a new one if we upgrade it? New one? A used one. <laughs> no, a new one's for real. Yeah, yeah. Give me a new one for buck fifty, I'll take four of them. Yeah. <laughs> what could be a used grader? They run about a buck fifty, figure twenty year old. hundred and fifty about. Yeah. But then you don't know what you buy. This one we know what we got. The so Caterpillar did all the repairs. Well, no, a guy from Caterpillar did the repairs after hours. Mm -hmm. nope. What did we stick into the grader? We put a lot in the grid in the last three years, but like I said, for the previous 25 or 30 years, we put nothing into that. So if you're going to prorate it out, you have to do well, it. Well, I'm just I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm trying to see what it costs. No, I, I am. I mean, I'm doing the same thing on the farm. I mean, we're updating machinery, and 10 years from now, we're still going to have a 45 year old grader now. Exactly, and it'll still work with that. Well, to a point, it's cheaper to fix than it is to buy new. Well, not necessarily. Oh, yeah. No, uh, I mean, you got to look at the cost and set, you know, the economics. How fast can you get the job done, too? Right? Yeah, and no matter what, this grader's got a 12 foot blade. Yeah, which is the house. At $20 an hour to pay a driver, that's all. It is meaningless because we need about probably a 14 footer on there to get rid of the curbing. Oh, yeah. No, the curbing, and we should be taking care of the spring with, the, with our new machine that we bought a couple years ago to pull that back, but you guys couldn't get that orchestrated in time. <laughs> that's why we bought that machine to pull all that back and to reclaim it. Yeah, nobody got that done this year. But just just looking at it, you know, if we take this bill just on the labor alone, or you know, I'm just taking the sixty nine seventy six twenty five. I know it's a stretch, but I'm pushing out twelve months. You know, there are probably some months are going to be higher, some months going to be lower. You know, November we're probably not going to do much. You know, we're looking at ten thousand seven fifty eight. If wait, no, no, that's Dwayne. Sorry. So Dwayne would run. Right, call it eleven thousand in labor. You know, one guy. Obviously, it goes higher in the winter and everything else. But our current repairs were sitting at thirty-five thousand eight hundred eleven ninety-six on the year. You know, so you're looking at roughly forty-six grand. But like I said, you got to back that up because we haven't fixed that machine for thirty years. Well, this isn't even. This is yeah. This isn't even just the. Uh, the grader, I mean, this is the trucks right. too, because right. you're going to have to upgrade trucks. But we have done nothing for, for the previous. I guess you can't do a repair this year and say that that's what it costs for the year because you've gotten 10, 15, but 20, or 30 years. I was, I was watching the Facebook Live thing before I came in here. We're averaging 22 grand a year in repairs for 30 years. No, absolutely not. For the last three, three years, years, three years. Yeah. What about the previous 30? We have that four pieces nothing. of machinery and we're spending 22 grand a year in repairs. For three years. What about the previous years? And what about the years now that they're not going to have any So why did we buy a $100,000 Massey Ferguson tractor? We didn't. We bought a $67,000 Massey tractor. We also had a boom mower that you put on there. Yep. We also had a front mount snow blower. Yep. Total bill coming to about $107,000. Exactly. It wasn't me. It was the Township Board decision. All of us. Don't point at me. I think you were even. I was not here. I was not here. Anyway, he no, was not here. 
Anyway, it was a word decision. It was done in 17. It was a word. What would, you, what would you do with it? I mean, why wouldn't you have your own machinery and hire a guy for 18 or 20 bucks an hour? You guys rented a boom machine? bar for 2,500 bucks yet. Before we owned them. So it makes sense to spend 70 grand right. on your tractor. And you can use it for more than just boom bar. You can use it for cul de sac snowmobile, which we have. You can use it for ditch mowing, which we have. What did he charge us for ditch mowing? How many hours do we have on that tractor now? Three thousand dollars, two thousand dollars for ditch mowing. Or ditch mowing, just this time. I think it was twenty-four, twenty-five. Twenty-four. Because you do that twice a year. That's five thousand dollars. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's what you spend to rent one. Why would you rent when you can own one? That's what you did. You spent twenty-five hundred bucks to rent one, and now he's coming and doing it for the same one. price. Now we've got one. Why would you rent one if you got one? It doesn't make sense to me. Why would you buy a piece of machinery and not use it? And then hire somebody to do it. That doesn't make any kind of monetary sense. Mr. Hass is making money on the township. There's no way around it. You I have a four-row corn planter in my house. I hired Ryan Gert to come out and plant my corn because he's doing it faster and cheaper. Well, that's fine. That's the way you do yours. I do my own. I've been in business for 40 years. I've been born and raised on the farm. I've done it all. So, I know the business is. So if we eliminate our kidney, you guys are going to do it. It's ridiculous for me to sit here and talk to this for you. I can work the other way anyway. I'm just wasting time. So if you hire Mr. Hass, hire Mr. Hass, but the taxpayers are going to pay for it. So be be men enough to say, you know what? We don't care that it's going to cost you more. Well, I'm sitting here looking at it. We dumped 35 grand in repairs already into two trucks that are over 20 years old. Right. Well, and now we won't have to repair them again. We spent seventy-five thousand dollars on those plow trucks. No, I have not spent seventy-five thousand dollars on anything. Seventy-five thousand dollars. Yep. No. Maybe twenty sixteen. We put twenty-five. Yeah, I'm talking everything. Everything. Right. Fuel repairs. Right. Purchases. Yep. Re and all that. Right. So we spent in less than three and a half years. We spent seventy-five thousand. Yeah. Plus that. Plus that. Yeah. You said that was including buying them? Well, no, no, that one, yeah. Oh, that was. Yeah, yeah. We don't know exactly. I mean, last year we had a problem where we ended up both trucks down and we had to hire. And that's something that I really would just to not have to go into the winter with, with thinking that could happen again. There's no guarantee that those engines. There's no guarantee of renting them. Well, but, that's but that's if we were to contract it, we're responsible if you yeah. get something done. And what happens if his machine is broken, you can't get it. No guarantees. Then, then you better fight some more. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's, 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 that's on here. You've got to have the buddy system in the snow. And, and we did find an open that we had, but it doesn't. Anyway, it's, it's ridiculous. You, like I said, it's for you guys. So we had, had, we had a road. Sunday <clears throat> where there were people who couldn't get out mm -hmm. until Sunday afternoon, and, and uh, we went, we, in the four wheel drive truck, we got to church, and, and they said, Oh, yeah, Greenbush was already plowed out, and, and I the, the, Johnson, the, the Johnson brothers were, were already in church. Right. Because they were done plowing. And I live right in the Greenbush, so I can tell you that's not totally true. No, they were. Hey, right. I understand. They might have been done with some of it, but they were just in the. And they were they were already in the whole church. When I moved into the township, when I built my house, and I the, the township policy at that time was four inches of snow. I'd like to make the motion that we our, our topic is the road grader. Right. We'll get to that other stuff later. So um, I just like to know, you know, we, we talked at the last meeting about discussing this now and deciding which way we're going to go. Why was this posted on our website? This position description. Why do, why do we post this in the, in the public for a, accepting an application for a seasonal road grader without board approval? I think Jeannie, you guys talked about it. No, we didn't. Can we talk, we she ran it by you, Jeannie, and you agreed to it. No, I said, yes, I said wait till I uh, You know, Greg, were you there? No, I, I've okay. had communications. Yeah, I'm sure you so you don't you didn't want to hire you don't want to put an ad in the paper to try to hire somebody. Well, you, no, you're all for you know wait for board approval. Mm -hmm. And right. the board did not approve this. Then we talked about it. I didn't. He didn't. I did not. Gene, I gave you the help wanted sign and had you approve it. And I said hold off until after this meeting. 
Okay, I didn't make it clear, but I... I wouldn't have posted it without direction from you. <coughs> no, I specifically said to hold on to it. You know, said to post for August yes. so you can hire in September. Yes. Yes. It may have been a misunderstanding, but it's not... Oh, regardless, I mean, since we're on the topic, do we have anybody apply? <laughs> Nobody applied. No need for the discussion then. Pull it down. Dave, is that a motion? We still have to discuss how we're, we're moving forward. I would move to remove it from the website. Remove the position posting from the website. Yeah, you guys got your mind made up already anyway, so what's the use of wasting everybody's time? Let's remove it. Remove it. I second that motion. If you're not going to tell yourself about it, just pull it out. You guys got your decision already made before any meeting we ever talked about. Motion made, seconded to remove the road grader posting. Okay, where do we go forward from here? Seems to me you've already got that decision made too. <laughs> I, to be honest with you, I think we need to send it out for bid. Mm -hmm. No offense, I think you've done. You, mm -hmm. I think you've done a phenomenal job. No, I'm I not. I mean, best interest of the township. We need to send it out for bid. I Carefully. Agree. I agree. Post that publicly. Put that in the newspaper. Put it on the internet. Put it wherever. <laughs> I would move the motion that we be publish, looking for bids for a snow removal and b. Uh, road grading and maintenance, which includes brush removal. One more time. And uh, the ditch grading. Ditch. 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 Even down in the sand ground, it's creeping right up to the it's, bottom. It's really growing this winter. It's kind of easy now. It's before it gets bigger. Motion has been made to advertise for bids. Yep. For road grading and ditch mowing. Do we want to set a time frame for that? When it's posted, when we pull it? Well, we want to make a firm decision next month. No. I, I would so say the deadline has to be a week into September. September 6th, 17th, 7th. Board meeting, same, no later than that. September 7th? No later than 7th. September 7th? September 7th. What's today? It's the 20th. Well, we have to go further than that. Yeah, we have to go further than that. Yeah. No, we were giving the guy a chance. A week. We had a day. We had to go to the 10th, and it's three weeks. Yeah, it's more reasonable. Yeah. But still, it's not going to happen. But at that Just point, enough. we've got the option. <laughs> we still own the equipment. You know, let's at least figure out where that bids are coming in at. We still own the equipment. It's not costing us anything to keep saying that. Absolutely, it's not. Well, it is kind of because we're iron. <laughs> but we're sitting on all this iron back here yeah. that should be used. If it doesn't get, if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. It's still there. I would move to send it out for bid, close the bid, September 10th. Is there a second? I'd second that. Motion made and second. Is there any further discussion? <coughs> we'll proceed to vote. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, no. Motion is carried. We will post for bids due September 10th. Road report. Okay, not too much. Um, just back to where we are with uh, well, so, so far this month, uh, so far this year, we placed only 540 yards of uh, gravel. I'll be working with Mr. Haas to figure out which roads could use more. Uh, uh, those. Loads were placed on 52nd, just off by the, by the river. There was a mud hole there, and there was a mud hole on 90th, uh, up on just south of 70th. And then 
There was a mud hole, balsam ridge that we took care of, and 77. all I had for the road report. Um, yeah. <coughs> Anything else on the roads? Now we move on to new business, sketch plan, and preliminary plans for Silver Lake Pines. Okay. Chair, would you like me to uh, make a quick presentation? Certainly. Um, thank you. Uh, Silver Lake Pines has made an application for a sketch plan and a preliminary plat um, uh, request uh, on County Road uh, 117 Aspen Road. It's uh, in the southeast quarter of Section 26. The uh, subdivision consists of seven lots on the 111 acres. Uh, the property is uh, within the comprehensive plan designated as rural residential and zone rural residential district. All the lots uh, that they presented uh, conform with the uh, uh, size requirements and width requirements of the ordinance. Most of them were about a little over eight um, acres in size. Two of them are uh, about 34 and 31 acres. The uh, subdivision or ordinance, just uh, a little background on that, uh, requires the planning commission to look at both sketch plan and uh, uh, preliminary plat. They did that at their last meeting and recommended approval of this. Uh, once the, uh, um, the town board takes a look at the uh, uh, preliminary plat and approves it, then they can then move forward with the uh, final plat, which uh, we anticipate they will if, if you uh, move forward tonight. So again, uh, the lots uh, meet all the requirements. Um, park dedication would need to be paid as part of final plat is $1,200 uh, per residential lot. Uh, access, um, it's a county road, uh, obviously, so uh, a county board approval, or excuse me, uh, the uh, uh, county um, uh, engineer would need to approve uh, the uh, access. And the uh, applicants have indicated they have at least received a uh, owner uh, approval of that. The house pad septic systems are shown on the plat and all meet all the requirements. Uh, floodplain shoreline, uh, the uh, township engineer has reviewed that and sees no issues, nor do I. Um, and uh, the planning commission had recommended a few additional uh, conditions uh, that's uh, listed within uh, your packet, uh, with the coming board packet. <clears throat> there was a report that went to the uh, planning commission with our recommendation, and then a follow up report that I did for the town board and uh, added a few conditions. Those included. Um, Video construction activities be conducted between the hours of 6.30 a.m. and 7 p.m. Uh, county engineer should be asked to review a post and speed limit for the adjacent curb on, on Aspen Road. And the applicant shall work with the adjacent property owner, its property owner to the north, uh, regarding encroachment of a structure on the subject property uh, to be resolved. Uh, <coughs> there's a hot tub or something that, that exists uh, uh, on uh, one of the lots that's to be uh, subdivided. So again, maybe the uh, applicants have a little bit more information if they talk to that, that individual. But otherwise, we do recommend um, with the uh, conditions that the planning commission put forward. Thank you, Governor, Mr. Kirkland. Oh, come on. I think those always should stay. <laughs> <laughs> stay. You can only work that night. You can't work during the day. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> You fire up the generators and the floodlights and keep going. <laughs> if we look at Mr. Rabo's back page, his drainage, and he is um, recommending approval of preliminary plat on the developer addressing the above comments but to the board's satisfaction. And that was the drainage situations. And we understand yeah. all those. Yeah, we have addressed those comments in the plan, anticipation for the final plan smell. And Mr. Richards' comments, conclusion, recommendations on page six. So the comments on six, and then if you go a few pages of your packet, then the updated ones from the uh, final question. So number ten could re read, take the word no out. So you can protest every piece of content. Thank you for catching that.
Everything else the same? Yeah, all the other. Okay. Questions? Motions? What's the move? It's been to the Planning Commission and through everybody. I think I make a motion to accept it. Let's move on with it. No. It's been made to accept. No. no. Exactly. Doesn't help that has been done so far on the property to the north. You just said everything has been handled. Oh, have no. It has not been taken care of for the property to the north. The uh, um, condition 12 says it should be resolved prior to the town board action on the preliminary plan. So I was hoping that the applicants had had some conversations with you. I made one phone call. They've got nothing back to me. Then I withdraw my motion until you guys get it figured out. <laughs> I don't want to hold up your thing, but I mean, we need to talk. Yeah. You've taken 30 feet of my property away from me by moving those property stakes. That's why my buildings are allegedly on their property instead of on my own. It's you guys. Ah, yeah, it's my I property. I don't think we took anything. Uh, I don't. I can find the actual state survey marker from when the sections were put there in the first place. The center of that whole section is right there behind my house. So if people and my right? property, my house was built 35 feet away from it, both ways. Which and this board. Seen it, approved it, before I even built my house. So our people that we hired last month are wrong, but your people work there, right? Uh, no, I, not the state. <coughs> I'm saying I can, I can show you the state marker, not people that I put in there. I'm assuming that state that you found or you're talking about is it right. I don't think so. So you say wrong. the state of Minnesota developed the property, all of the sections wrong from the beginning. <laughs> That's what I'm asking. Yeah. And well, the fence line that was there when we purchased the property was right on the property line. Yeah. So, I, like I said, I, I, just saying, you're saying the state was 100% wrong when they built the property, the section of the state of Minnesota, period. I think we're going to have to read table this until the discussion is, or until things are settled. So, I will take a motion to enable approval until so moved. So, second. Motion made and seconded to table this until um, it's all settled. Any further discussion? If not, we'll proceed to vote. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, no. Motion carried. Table the plan and preliminary plan. Zoning administrator's report. Uh, a couple items, uh, Mr. Chair, uh, at the last planning commission meeting on August 5th, uh, we discussed a couple uh, of items, and those are items that we had discussed uh, previously with the town board, and that's related to event venues, the barn venues. Uh, planning commission uh, agreed that uh, uh, with the town board that uh, I should uh, put forward some uh, proposals, some changes to the ordinance, just to clarify that as an interim use, and uh, we'll move forward to that, and I'll have a... a, a some materials for the planning push to, to review after September meeting. Uh, same with solar farms, that's an issue that they've been dealing with. Uh, done some research on, on solar farms and uh, can provide uh, some guidance to, to them. Uh, and, and with both of those, they would still require a public hearing. Uh, if they're comfortable moving we'll forward with that, we can, uh, uh, we can have them do a public hearing and, and then provide some recommendations to you. And you've kind of reviewed what server coming in? Yes. Definitely. Any questions for him? Another item too is we uh, will have a plat uh, referred to as North Oaks uh, on the uh, it's within the R1 district and it's just a, a two lot subdivision uh, on County Road Four uh, that the planning uh, commission will look at in September. And that's where. It's on County Road 4 in the R1 district. Right across from the junior, the new new high school? Yeah. Or that school, whatever it's on. So out of curiosity, the solar farms you're looking at is based on Sherburne County. Does Benton County, does <coughs> um, Sandy, do, do any of the other counties surrounding us have anything? Or are we just no, I'm just curious. Yeah. Because um, um, I know Sherburne, you know, they're dealing with a new plant there with 
Right, you know, right, exactly. All of them. Uh, not only county, but uh, cities. Uh, there's okay. other cities that have ordinances that are actually quite good. So we're okay. taking a look at a wide variety of them. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Oh, yeah. Not cookie and cutter. Those always do. Well, we usually take five or ten when we take a look at them. Sure. So it makes them look like the best for all. Yeah. Any questions for David? If not, we'll move on to open forum. Two old names, resident. Got a few items here. A uh, statement was made at the last town board meeting that a house has to be $600,000 before the township breaks even on the tax money. I'd like to see some figures on that because I need to understand that. I can't see that in my head. Why a house has to be cost, cost has to cost 600,000. So what is our cost per house in the township. If you plow the snow, you go by the house, it takes five minutes. Uh, I suppose fire is in there, fire numbers. Well, we used to pay for our own fire numbers. Well, that's easy to figure out if it's $50,000 contract divided by the number of houses. <coughs> that one you can come up with a dollar figure. But I'm just, I'm having a hard time because I can't believe there's many $600,000 houses in the township. So every other house is a money losing operation. But if someone builds a new house across the road from me, you already plow the road, that house is virtually cost free to the township for road maintenance. And if a house is built on a county road, that's cost free to the township. So I'm having a hard time. I'd like to see some kind of a spreadsheet to see what a $200,000 house, what the expenses are for the township. Because we've heard the statement, well, it's got to be worth 600000 before we break even. Well, where are those numbers coming from, you see? Second item. Uh, I think being as the township has renewed all the contracts now and kind of turning over a new leaf and updating things with the engineering, uh, Mr. Richard, stuff like that, I think the township should also go to a different audit firm for their audit this coming year. You know, you stay with the same firm for I don't know how many years, 10, 15 years, I think it's time to get a fresh set of eyes to look at the books. Not that I'm accusing anybody of anything, but I'm saying I think it's a good business practice to get a different audit firm once in a while and pass out the, pass out the business. Third thing, I think we should think about updating the bookkeeping software. Certain people have re requested uh, to see a certain invoice and it's in a drawer somewhere and it takes time to find it. Well, I know there's software out there, and I'm no computer expert, but I know there's software out there where you scan your input invoice and it puts it right into your bookkeeping system it's in your computer now, so if you want to find the invoice for a tractor, you hit tractor in the search, invoice comes over, it's hooked to the printer, you hit printer, and the person's got a copy of the invoice. It's a money saving, it's a time saving thing. So, you know, if we've used the same software for, I don't know, 10 years, 15 years, once again, it's time to update because the technical world is screaming by us. So that would be my other mild suggestion that we do something different with software. And that could be part of the audit if you ask the auditors for suggestions on better ways to uh, keep the books. The last audit, 
it rolled right in there that the auditor had no comment on the bookkeeping system. Well, then it's just checking the balance sheet, but you could have a full business audit and they could say, well, you know, if you did this here, it would make you connect to the state better or something. The software would talk to each other. So that's all I got. Thank you for your time. Yes. Just a comment to the um, audit. I, I believe there's standards for when we're audited of the things that need to be looked into. Am I correct? So I don't, well, I think that I think that there's a standard format for the auditors to follow in township yeah, auditing. Good, yes. I'm guessing yes. that there's that. So I'm not really sure how far we can vary from. Right. The you can always ask answer. for more. You just can't do less. Well, everything goes through a fine microscope. Okay. And they, uh, and they, they, they really do. <laughs> The only way we would avoid that would be if we split the clerk treasurer into two different positions. Then we would not need an annual audit. Mm. But she still be one every so many years. Right. And the, the downside of that is that you're taking somebody else. It basically is a wash. It's not, it's not a savings. Anything else? Close all this forum. Yes, clerk. Any other business? Uh, Supervisor of the board? Mr. Percy? Uh, I was at the last meeting and uh, Mr. Richards basically covered what was at, at that planning commission meeting. So we went through that. Uh, the other item was uh, fire advisory. We got a, sounds like we got an email. This came, I think, came to everybody in the city about the fire truck with confirmation on a few of the related policies. Did you guys get that? Or did you yeah. Okay. Exactly. Um, okay. So for the other information on a fire, uh, they've got a, a grant. It's a 95 Fed 50 or 5 percent city split. Uh, they're looking on those grant. They've also got a DNR flash. Uh, GNR grant for some flashlights. It's a 50-50 grant. It's about $2,500. Um, they said they got a great deal on the ladder truck that they have. It's in service now. It's 104 feet. If you ever want to, they said that uh, if we want to go for a ride, they'll give us a ride. <laughs> All the graphics are done. Uh, they budgeted it out for 175,000. It should be under budget when everything's all said and done. They're going to sell the old one uh, on the government. GovDeals.com. That's basically all we're figuring that's worth. I don't. I don't. I don't think it's safe. Mr. Hillary, do you have any comments on this? We're both one of ways. <laughs> truckers. <laughs> I mean, seriously, it's with the, the amount of work it needs, there's no department that's going to buy it and put it back in the service. Will they sell it to a private department? <coughs> Have to buy it. Well, no, they can sell it to a private party. Joey actually has got one of our old fire engines that he bought. Yeah, yeah. Right, yeah. That um, went through an auction, didn't it? Yep, yeah, they went yeah. through Wayne Pike. They they said they were going to try running it through this Gov deals or whatever it is, and if they don't get it sold there, they might either bring it to Pikes or bring it down to us and have it sell it down there. But they wanted to at least try it there to see if they could get. You know, it's kind of a specialty application. You can't really just pull the box off. The yeah, I mean that's it, it's. To put it back into service to have everything certified, I mean, it, it would be too expensive. So, does that have a pump on it? Yeah, yeah, but the relief valve's bad on it. What's that? The relief valve's bad on it. Okay. So, so uh, the other thing I had, not really, it's just more of a I stopped and talked to uh, Dave Ivan, Evan, Ivans at MnDOT, just, just kind of looking at. What else does they have out there for plow trucks? So there are there is information out there. But we have a limited time. They're doing a garage sale. They're calling it. <coughs> it ends tomorrow, but they'll go a little longer. But uh, basically, they're selling single axles for five thousand and tandems for seven point five. Um, we looked into snow wheels for this one out here, the the, the large one. The, the tandem, um, he was saying that wheels. 
the snow wells mount on the front of the plow so that it can ride up off the pavement so that we're not scraping our loose but shoes but wheels. But, yeah. And they're about two to three thousand um, dollars. Because right now there's nothing on there. It was that vehicle was set up for pavement, concrete. Um, do we have shoes for it? I don't, I don't see any. There's nothing on there now. The, the wheels won't work good. They won't. Yeah, I, bought, shoes I bought four and I got two on. And they just don't work well. No, they dig in too much. You're not going to be on pavement. The, so the flat they, fall shoe, the round better. shoe. Yep. So because you got to turn. Mm -hmm. Your plow. Okay. Are yeah. the ones that they you have? Are they the? Um, uh, are they're not set to go in, in the lot? Are they? Uh, oh no, they swivel. 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 Oh yeah, they, they'll, swivel. it'll cost you about thirteen hundred a wheel. Yeah, that's what he was saying. They're yeah, about, I think there's a set of shoes out here. There used to be. Okay. okay. Round shoes. It, that's what it should have came with with round shoes because yep. it. They came with the DOC both of these trucks, I believe. You know, but that's. So, if that's something. We're looking at. I have no idea if we are or if we're not, but uh, here's information. Gives all the information and all the everything that's wrong with them. So instead of going to auction, we're able to go to them by direct. Uh, what else? Are we still on? I would also like discussion on building access for all supervisors and any. Contractors that may that we may contract with. Um, there's times that I may want to come in and get my. I mean, we could say we're having to get paperwork or drop paperwork off. Uh, if we have things to sign, so I'd like some discussion on that. Or as of right now, which board members have access and which. I've got a code, that's all I have. I have a code access to that part of the building, and that's it. In the 23 years I've been here, I've never had access to this building alone, ever. So it's not good policy to have one person be able to come into a government building alone. And that's kind of what we've done for years. If somebody comes in, they need to check with the chairman or this woman, and then get a code and then come in. So that there's just somebody not bopping in here, forcing around. So I came in, I know, on a Sunday, and Kenny was here and I grabbed the plow trucks and the salt spreaders to wash them up, but Kenny wasn't here and probably still be sitting full salt. Any other discussion? I don't know. I don't, I don't feel like I need to come here. I don't have yeah. other hobbies. But I've never, never had to come here in all these years. I think part of the question was who does have access? Right who now, does who have currently have has, I have access to that part of the building. I don't. Never have. Do you, anybody outside of this room have access? Well, the janitor, Mr. Kenny. That's the only person? I believe so. This woman? Kenny's the only one right now. Okay. Anybody else? Okay. Has, has anybody else had to get into the building or has they need to drop anything off or pick something up? Okay. There we go. One other person? Yes. So the only time that we can get in the building is when the offices are open. That's essentially what it is. That's what we've been doing. The shop is a different story. I mean, obviously, the people that are working in here have to have access to the shop. But if there's a lot of sensitive, sensitive material in here that people shouldn't just be bobbing around. They should coordinate that with somebody, I think. That's what we've always done. Yeah, the area the 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 we set up? I think that office area would be Certainly, uh, for one person or for for time rather than three entry. Could we set up if somebody wants to pick up their packet or drop information off? Um, could we set up a location in the garage? There's a drop box up front in the mailbox. So for us to pick stuff up. You drop it there. Oh, you drop have to pick mailbox. something up. Oh, if you can. Which mailbox? The mailbox is the green one. Is that a U.S. postal box? Mm -hmm. oh. Paper drop box. Mm -hmm. I have nothing else to discuss on that. Mm -hmm. The person is living in the 
Yeah, a uh, couple things. One, uh, how are we coming on website and getting <coughs> information out to the constituents? It looks to me like we just have a fee schedule out there, the building permit, and maybe the uh, ordinance. Did we ever get the, all the special the, the special permits posted or approved yet? Has the has did the planning commission finish that? I was there. I know we're going to add some things. Anyone? Who's the the planning commission? They finished the they did not um, there has been an updated um, uh, application form, and I believe that's all that there was. They weren't blading change. So, yeah, it's very, very minor uh, amendments, which I think is probably done. So. so, is there any more going on the website? I guess is the question, or is it just these three items that we see out there now, besides some of the minutes? I don't think they're posted on the website. I think it's okay. It's pretty we had a list of about 15 things here a couple months ago that we were going to put out to the website. We discussed audio, we discussed video. There was a whole list of things that I thought we were working towards getting out for people to have access to. You got audio and video here, correct? Mm -hmm. Is that what you guys are doing? Okay. Yeah, but this isn't. Uh, cataloged uh, on our website. I don't know what that means, but well, can anybody get on this? Yep. Yeah, but downloading it to the website so anyone who's not necessarily aware of our group has access to it on your website yeah. kind of thing. You can download the video and then upload it right to your website. But I think there's foreign language to be on Yeah. So it, it's available to people who right. don't have yep, it. Yeah, so anyone can download it but the only thing is is I did talk to the county and they said this can't be your official record keeping so if Connie's not here you can't use the video to just do the like a replacement like a replacement because that was a question we had at the last meeting so maybe if you bring back that list again next month we can kind of see old, what, what's that like it's old business bring back at the list and then you mentioned the fire truck came in under budget. Is there going to be some refund back to the township then for what we've already paid, or is that going into a general fund, or how is that going into a general fund? I believe. Oh, that, that big uh, the other pumper truck is not completed yet, right? No. So I'm sure that I mean that was a combined for the two. Okay. Yeah. Maybe after that, if that could come in under budget or. <coughs> and then we've looked at. All the contracts for everybody. I mean, are, where are we at? What doing employee reviews or any of that stuff? So. Do we want to look at? You know, we do that every year. Well, you, you do it every year. Yeah, we, if there's any issues or problems or comments, we do that. We schedule. We do all that at the same time. Pay raises or whatever. It's all in that discussion at the December meeting, I believe. There's the January meeting before, before the end of the year. What's that? That's what we've done. Saying yes, no, I'm just saying it's that's 
I, I know that came up sometimes in the past and we looked into it and that's well with it. Well with it. Is there a uh, couple things. This here bill is this is this open to general public or is this government? This open to government? That's for government. Okay, okay. I was just trying to figure out, you know, I mean might not be a bad idea to look into, but I mean I'm looking at these things nine, ten thousand hours, everyone needs an engine ripped down pretty quick. Well there's there is one on the uh, um I mean you got min did mindid.com too, you know, where all the government stuff goes there too, but and that's for another day, but um I don't know your name back there. Hi, Andrew Gerard. Hi, nice meeting you. Uh, I love that. The last meeting I completely missed because I was on my way to the Minneapolis airport and I had it going in the cup holder and I watched and listened to the whole thing. Even coming in late today, had it going in the cup holder. I came in here and was right up to speed on everything. So, Just yeah. make sure not to Facebook Live us through your pocket again. <laughs> yeah, you Facebook lived us in your pocket, and we watched the video of 20 minutes of you just walking around. And <laughs> it didn't go on the group, but I was kind of going, I don't know how you pocket Facebook Live, but congratulations, you're the first. <laughs> uh, have anything done with that baby spurge? The baby when I contact the county, the county said just leave it. That's where they dumped the beetles last year. And they said, as the beetles, the beetles eat away at the roots, not the top of the plant. <coughs> and as the beetles, as the plant dies out, the beetles will die out. That's oh. the theory behind it. They use their farm for breeding us. Mm -hmm. They come and plant them and collect them. Our sand farm is full of it. The leafy spurge? Mm -hmm. But that's what they said, is, as the plant dies out, the bugs will die out. Oh. But if the bug, if the plant seeds out, now the bugs will populate because there's more feed, you know. It works too. And there's two different types of beetles. I forget there's a black and a brown, I believe. She gave me the scientific view, so way over my head. So, so Tom, just so you're aware, there is on that govdeals.com there is a ninety-nine up in where is it here? Oh yeah, forty five thousand miles on it. It's it's a kid. It's at seventy six hundred right now. Two days left on it, but it's but that's a '99 GMC that Niswa I think has. Yeah. See. Okay. Anything else for supervisors? Clerk's uh, business. Well, just in regards to the later discussion, you guys just approved the minutes, and in the minutes it says right in from Eugene Sokol, mo motion to advertise in August and in September. If I'm mistaken, I'll certainly watch the tape to see if you did not authorize me to put that posting on there. Okay. I apologize. It was my understanding. It was misunderstanding because they showed it to me when I signed papers. I, I said, let's hold off until. And but you I, said it's in the minutes earlier. You said it's in the minutes? I have this. And the minutes have been approved. Yeah, that it was advertised. Okay. So we did. I apologize. That's all I've been looking for. Is there any other business properly come before the meeting? Not a set the motion to uh, approve the bill. Well. So move. No, we're open for it. Motion to approve for payment of bills is, is made by Mr. Anderson. Is there a second? Second. Motion made and seconded to approve payment of bills. There is no other business to properly come before the meeting. I entertain a motion to adjourn. Motion made and seconded to adjourn. All in favor signify by saying aye. Aye.